हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द मैथ अकेडमी सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग थ्रू ऑल द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पेपर टू सो आई विल ट्राई टू कवर अप ऑल काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट यू नीड टू नो फॉर द चेक पॉइंट फॉर पेपर टू सो आई एम टेकिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पेपर टू सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स and press the like button if you like the video and let me know in the comment section i will wait for your comments and so let's start first question that i'm taking here is as a uh, use a whole number to complete the statement so this is 3.15 we have 3.15 here so this is 4 0.04 and this is 4 uh, that means divided by 100 so that means it should be like this answer so that will be only possible if we have a whole number 4 here right now lily wants to count the number of cars in different colors that drive uh, past her school uh, design a data collection sheet for lily could use so first of all you need to know the keywords lily wants to count the number of cars of different colors uh, that drive past her school so she is looking for uh, the collection of the uh, color of the car so here she may have the color of car and then the number of cars so then she can compare this uh, with the color and how many cars she got with the color so it may be like blue red uh, black so whatever so then she can use this collection Question three: The diagram shows a cuboid. This is a cuboid with length of eleven uh, centimeters and width of five centimeters and height of four centimeters. Calculate the volume. So volume of the cuboid is length times width times height. So that means eleven times five times four. So as this is the paper two, so you can use calculator. Eleven times five times four. So this is two hundred and twenty. So two hundred and twenty centimeter cubed, right? Here I'm taking another question from geometry. We have uh, this shape is made from two rectangles. So we have two rectangles here. Calculate the area of the shape. So you can uh, divide this rectangle into two parts uh, to find out the area because this is irregular shape. So we cannot find out. Uh, And by using direct the formula, so here we have length and width. So if I join it like this, so I will get length times width. Then I need this one. Uh, so for that, uh, um, we can use this one here, right? So then we have this shape one and this is shape two. So combined area will be shape one plus shape two. So this is length here and this is width. So now we are looking for this width. So you know that this the whole thing. this length is 8.2 right and uh, this one here is 3.7 as it's from here so this will be 8.2 minus 3.7 so 8.2 minus 3.7 uh, which is 4.5 so this is 4.5 so this length is now 4.5 so area of this rectangle is going to be 8.5 times 4. Five, right? Now this one here, three point seven times three point two length times width. So now the total area of the shape. So area of shape is going to be uh, area of shape one plus area of shape two, right? Area of shape one is eight point five times four point five. Plus shape two is three point seven times three point two. So let's see how much is that? Eight point five times four point five. This is thirty eight point two five. Plus three point seven times three point two. Eleven point eight four. Now you add this one. <coughs> so by adding i'm getting here 
fifty point zero nine, right? So fifty point zero nine is the area of the combined shape, right? Now another question here we have Rajiv puts dollar two thousand and four hundred in a saving account. One year later, it's worth. Two thousand five hundred and eighty. Work out the annual rate of interest. So first of all, we will see what is the profit here. Uh, so the increase is two five eight zero minus two thousand and four hundred. So two five eight zero minus two thousand five hundred. Oh, sorry. Eighty minus two thousand and four hundred. So this is hundred and eighty. So the percentage uh, work out the annual rate of interest. So this is in dollars. So we are looking for rate of interest. So now we are looking for the rate of interest. So that is hundred and eighty, and it started from two thousand and four hundred dollars, and we are looking for out of hundred. So these two zeros are gone. Hundred and eighty divided by twenty four. <coughs> So that is seven point five. So because it's just for one year, so that is the annual rate of interest, right? Now another question we have here: draw a ring around the point which does not lie on line three x y equals to three x plus two. So we have here the point, so we can substitute the points and then we will see what is the value. So the first value is for x, another one is for y, x, y. This is x and y. So we can substitute value of x here, then we can see. Let's see the first one. We can just use calculator for that. Uh, so y equals to three x. What I'm going to do here? So y equals to three x. X is two uh, plus two. So three times two is six. Six plus two eight. So that is correct. So this one is correct. He said draw a ring around the point that does not. So here the second one is y equals to. This is three times zero plus two. That is two. So answer should be two. What it is four. So we got this answer here. So as you are told, just to put a ring on the point. So there is no need to do the other ones, right? But if you want to know, then you can just do it. Like <coughs> here, I will do this. X is hundred. Hundred times three, three hundred plus two. It is three hundred and two. And then nine, nine plus three, twenty-seven plus two, twenty-nine. So we are left with only this option. Here you have another question. Here uh, you can see there are three triangles here. All of them are right angle. You can see the right angle here. Let's see the question. Write down the length of the hypotenuse of triangle BCE. So BCE is this triangle, right? So what is hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is uh, side opposite to opposite to right angle. Right side opposite to right angle. So this is right angle and side opposite to this one is this, which is thirteen. So answer is thirteen centimeters. Right. We have questions from ratios here. Uh, pink paint is made by mixing nine parts of white paint and five parts of red paint. Nine parts of white and five parts of red. Uh, red paint. Uh, guys, make sure that you underline the keywords. This paper is for you guys. You know, you can do whatever you want, but it should be clear. Don't make. Uh, The messy work there, but you can underline the thing. Uh, so pink paint is made up of white and red paint, right? So white paint and red paint. White, if we get nine parts of white and then five parts of red. Now find the number of parts of red paint. Red paint we want to find out to mix for fifty-four parts of white. So fifty-four of white. Now you just cross multiply. You see, nine uh, times x is equal to five times fifty-four. Divide by nine. Divide by nine. This nine and nine is four. Nine times six. Five times six is thirty. So we they need thirty parts of the red paint, right? We have another question here. The chart shows the number of units of electricity produced each day of the week. So this is number of units here of the electricity, 
and this side we have days of the week from monday to sunday uh, over the seven days shown uh, calculate the total number of units produced so total number of units produced we are just going to add all the units so this one is 8 here and this is 14 16 and this is 10 then we have 8 again and this is 6 and 6 so just going to add all of them 8 plus 14 plus 16 10 plus 8 plus 6 plus 6 so let's add them together so 8 plus 14 14 plus 8 plus 16 plus 10 plus 8 plus 6 plus 6 so we have 68 units so this is 68 so answer is 68 units right now calculate the mean number of the units produced per day mean is going to be like 68 was the total divided by the number of days 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so divided by 7 68 divided by 7 gives you 9.71 4 so to 3 significant figures we can write down 9.71 units right here we have question from probability I'm trying to get questions from every topic right so that you can uh, revise everything uh, so two fair four sided dice numbered 1 to 4 are rolled and scores are multiplied so you see this have been bolded here multiplied together complete the sample space diagram to show the outcomes we have 1 2 3 4 for the second dice and the first dice is 1 2 3 4 we are going to multiply so 1 times 1 is 1 here then 1 times 2 is 2 1 times 3 1 times 4 now 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 2 is 4 then 2 times 3 it is 6 2 times 4 is 8 <coughs> I hope you understood now so 3 times 1 is 3 so you are going to multiply all these numbers by 3 6 3 times 3 9 4 times 3 is 12 now by 4 4 8 16 so this is how you can complete this sample space diagram what is the probability of obtaining an even outcome so even outcome so we are looking for the even numbers uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so 12 out of how many are the total total outcomes 4 we have this side 4 this side 1 2 3 4 and 4 4 times 4 it is 16 so 12 over 16 so 4 times 3 so 3 over 4 right uh, we have question here a circular fish pond has any area of so it's a fish pond which is circular has an area of this area is 20 meters squared uh, calculate the diameter so if this is the radius so we know that uh, the area of circle the formula is uh, is given 20 meters squared and formula is pi r squared equals to 20 so pi r squared equals to 20 over pi over pi right so r squared is equal to let's use calculator 20 divided by pi is equal to 6.36 yes 6 point we need uh, square root of answer which is 2.52 2.52 that is the radius when you do the square root on both sides so this is radius but we are looking for the diameter so diameter is going to 2.52 times 2 so 2.52 times 2 5.04 so that is the diameter right here is another question distance from earth to sun is this much uh, write the distance to three significant figures 9 2 8 6 8 0 0 0 miles so three significant figures are here so we will look for this one this number is greater than 5 so you are going to add one over here so this is 929000 now this is final answer 
आई वॉन्ट यू गाइज टू टेल यू द कॉमन मिस्टेक दैट यू गाइज डू हियर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव या डोंट लीव दी जीरोज सो सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स दे जस्ट राइट दिस वन नाइन ट्वेंटी नाइन दे आर गोइंग टू स्कीप नो यू कांट स्कीप इट शुड बी नियरेस्ट टू योर एक्चुअल नंबर आफ्टर राउंडिंग टू वट एवर सिग्निफिकेंट फिगर और डेसिमल प्लेस यू आर गिवन सो लाइक यू सी वी हैव लाइक थ्री थ्री सिक्स टू एट थ्री थ्री सिक्स टू एट डिजिट्स देर सो दिस इज नियर बाय राइट ओके सो वी हैव हेयर टाइम्स टाइम टेबल्स क्वेश्चन दीज क्वेश्चन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट समाइम इट टेक लॉन्ग टाइम टू रीच टू द कंक्लूजन और फाइंड द आंसर सो बी केयरफुल बट दे आर नॉट हार्ड यू नीड टू बी लॉजिकल टू थिंक अबाउट द डेटा एंड वर्क आउट द प्रॉब्लम सो हियर वी हैव पार्ट ऑफ ट्रेन्स टाइम टेबल शोन हियर सो हियर इज द स्टेशन एंड दिस इज द टाइमिंग ग्रेस वॉन्ट्स टू ट्रेवल फ्रॉम स्टेवले टू कैंडाल सो दिस फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर शी अराइव एट टेन स्टेव वट इज द स्टेवले स्टेशन एट फोर्टीन थर्टी सो फोर्टीन थर्टी and she want the next one so she is not here she arrived after this so after this she is here right so she will take this much this train uh, so how long will she have to wait for the train so train is starting at this time 1452 but she arrived at 1430 so we can just subtract so that means she has to wait for 22 minutes for the train okay so now the second part how long will the train journey take from Uh, Stemble to Kendal. So we are looking. You can just pick anything. Uh, so from here to here, or you can just take from here, thirteen fifty three to fourteen o two. So this is fourteen up to fourteen. This is seven minutes. Seven minutes from here up to and plus this two. So there are nine minutes, right? So two o two at two o'clock from uh, at. Till fourteen, it's seven minutes, and then two more minutes for fourteen or two. So that's it. You see that you can figure it out by logical approach. We have a question of two-way table here. Uh, pupils in seventh grade and grade eight can study Arabic, French, and Mandarin. Complete the two-way table. So this is two-way table. So we we'll look for the information that maximum numbers are given here. We have uh, three uh, columns here. So uh, total is thirty-seven. So thirty-seven minus nineteen. So this is going to be thirty-seven minus nineteen. It is eighteen. So this is going to be eighteen. Now we can go this way. So eleven plus eighteen plus something is forty-five. So eleven plus eighteen. First of all, this is twenty-nine. Uh, so forty-five minus twenty-nine is this one. So that total is forty-five. Now this way, you can just do sixteen and minus fifty. Uh, fifty minus sixteen. Thirty-four. Done. Here, forty-five plus what gives you hundred and twenty. So that means hundred and twenty minus forty-five is seventy-five. Now this way we have this total should be seventy-five. So ninety plus thirty-four, uh, that we are going to subtract from seventy-five. So seventy-five minus you can put bracket here nineteen plus thirty-four. so you have here 22 right then this way total is 33 so this is how you can complete the table you can check afterwards uh, to check your answer what you can do you can just add them here 11 plus 18 plus 16 you got it 45 right and the next one we have here 22 plus 19 plus 34 we are getting 75 and the last one here is 33 plus 37 plus 50 is 120 right this is how you can check your answer another question here uh, the table shows hourly rate of pay in a factory 
the day rate is this night rate is this one here uh, sanjeet works 6 hours during the day on monday and 5 hours on tuesday night calculate how much money sanjeet earns all together so he is earning on the day on day day time is uh, he worked for 6 hours 6 hours on monday so day rate is 7.20 per hour so 7.20 per hour times 6 will give the uh, day time in earning so 7.20 times 6 it is 43.20 dollars and at night and he worked five hours on tuesday night five times 8.80 8.80 times five this is 44.00 so total is going to be 87.20 dollars okay here have I have another question here uh, is a list of symbols we have less than greater than and equal sign choose the correct symbol from the list for each of these statements <coughs> 3.7 and this is 3.60 the whole part is same 3 and 3 so we can make this by adding 1 0 so decimal part this is 7 0 this is 60 uh, 6 5 so 70 and 6 5 so this one is greater and the name uh, symbol will open towards the bigger number now this is 0 point, uh, 4.035 again the whole part is same same here 4 and 4 so we can add 0 here so make 340 <coughs> So 4.035 and 4.340. So this one is greater. So 7.6 we can add 0. 7.60. Now they are equal. So you see you make the decimal uh, number of decimal places same to compare it easily. Now number 2. Draw a ring around the value of digit 4 in the number uh, 6.354. So this is 4, 1, 2, 3. So 4 over 1000. So this is going to be the correct answer. Work out 1 plus 12 square over 2 times 3 squared minus 13. You need to be careful while you are doing the calculations here. Uh, so I will show you both ways doing uh, directly using calculator or doing some calculation. 12 square is 144. Right? 2 times 3 squared is 9 minus 30. Now we will solve this one. This is 145 here in the numerator. 9 times 2 is 18 minus 13. So 145 over 18 minus 13 is 5. So when you simplify 5 times 2 and 5 times 9. So this is 29. Right. Now if you use your calculator <coughs> you need to put brackets here. Bracket 1 plus 12 squared then bracket close divided by bracket then you have 2 times 3 squared uh, minus 13 so this is 29 right so you can use any of these two methods because this is just one more question now a plane flies between two cities uh, 1800 36 kilometers apart it travels at an average speed of 850 calculate how long the flight takes so we are looking for time here and we are given distance is 1836 kilometers and the speed is 850 kilometer per hour so we are looking for time so our formula speed is equal to distance over time right so distance is, uh, speed is 850, distance is 1836 kilometers and time we are looking for. So now just cross multiply, so T will come over here over 850. <coughs> so 1836 divided by 850 so this is 2.16 hours 
we have here question on reflections draw a reflection of the triangle in line l so we are using tracing paper uh, to draw that one so we can shade this shape like this and this is the middle line now you just fold it from the middle line here the mirror line here then you bring so you see your shape is going to come over here then you press it hard so you, that you can get your points nicely here is this point and this point and this one. so then you just use your ruler and draw these lines right So this is the reflection. So it's very easy when you use uh, tracing paper to draw the reflection. Now another question here we have Gabriela, Gabriela's book has 348 pages. She read, she read 163 of the pages and Saifa's book has 562 and she read 225 of the pages. Tick to show who has read greater proportion of their book. So we can use uh, percentage or we can use fraction. So this is for Gabriela. I am making two sections here. Safiya. So she read 163 out of 348 let's make it into the percentage times 100 and she uh, Safiya she read 225 5 out of 562 times 100 so let's see <clears throat> 163 times 100 divided by 348 so this is 46.83 percent and the other one here it is 225 times 100 divided by 562. This is 40.03. So that means uh, the question is stick to show who read the greater proportion. Greater proportion is of Gabriela. So we have a space here we can tick this one. Uh, question another one here this is on uh, the sequences the table shows information about the sequence of pattern made from the rods these are the diagrams number of pattern number of rods draw the diagram for the four number four in the table this is one two three four so you need to look into the pattern here so here we have three sticks then I mean like one triangle two triangle three triangle uh, here is three triangle now we are going to make four triangles one two this is three and this one is four right so one two three one two three four now number of pattern is four number of rods how many rods one two three four five six seven eight and nine you can even go from the pattern three plus two five five plus two seven seven plus two is nine right now part b we have here uh, we choose two of these cards these are the number cards here to complete the sentence describing the general term here number of rods needed number of rods needed is here the pattern number pattern number here is uh, like let's say this one is two uh, dash then dash so we are looking for how will this pattern work so pattern number here uh, you can uh, easy it's easy to use the nth term a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d a a here it is 3 and n we are looking for and d the common difference here it is 2 so this is the 3 plus then this is 2 n uh, minus 2 so that is going to be 2 n minus 2 1 3 minus 2 is 1 so now we can see number of rods needed is pattern number n 
then times 2 we are using this one here times 2 and then minus 1 minus 1 is here so we have used these two cards from here to make this statement true now draw a ring around the number all the numbers that are greater than 11 over 16 and less than 15 over 16 so you see all the answers here are in decimal so we can easily convert that also into decimal 11 divided by 16 is sorry 11 divided by 16 is 0 0.6875 and then 15 divided by 16 0 0.9375 so we are looking for a number greater than this and less than this. 0 0.45 is less than this? No. 0 0.55 is also not coming in this. 0 0.65 is also less than 75 is in this range. 85 is also and 95 is going to be greater than that. Right? Now another question here, 4 square, 4 square equals to 2 times dash plus 3. So that there is an equal sign, right? So that means both sides should be equal. 4 square is 16, right? 2 times uh, plus 3. So that means like 2 times 8 here. You see, we need to go reverse. 2 times 8 give you 16. So uh, how will you make here 16? Uh, I mean 8. So that is 5 plus 3. So 5 will go here in this empty box. Here we have question from inequalities. Uh, so solve the inequality. Inequality is uh, the equation when you don't have equal sign but you have greater than or less than sign. Uh, we will solve them same as equal sign but there are few exceptions I will show you. Uh, now here we have 19. I'm just rewriting 7 minus 3x, right? So we are looking for the value of x. So uh, less than or equal sign here 19. So if I subtract minus 7, uh, subtract 7 from both sides, so then we will be able to uh, eliminate 7 from right hand side. This is 12 now, less than or equals to negative 3x right now we have negative number here so when you divide it by a negative number so then this inequality sign will change so this is going to be 12 over negative 3 this is going to change negative 3x over negative 3x why is that i'm just showing you that so this one here and this is negative 3 uh, sorry negative 4 so negative 4 is greater than or equals to x or we can write down x is less than or equals to negative 4. So this is the answer. Now let me tell you why I have changed this sign over here. Now you see let's say we are just taking simple example. Uh, now I have 4. 4 is less than 5 right. If I multiply the whole thing by 1 this will become negative 4. This will become negative 5. Now which one is greater here? So negative 4. So now negative 4 is greater than negative 5. So that's why when you multiply or divide by a negative number in an inequality, then you are going to change the sign. Right? Now represent the range of value for x on the number line. So we have x less than or equals to negative 4. Negative 4 is here. So we will have this one circle at negative 4 there is equal sign so we are going to shade that and less than so that is this side so this is x is less than or equals to 4 here is a question from circle the diagram shows a semicircle semicircle is half of the circle the diameter of the semicircle is 12 calculate the perimeter so perimeter means like sum of all the sides. So we are looking for this and this. So this we have 12 centimeter, the diameter. Uh, and we are looking for this. This is circumference. So circumference of semicircle. So circumference of a semicircle is equal to half of 2 pi r. So this 2 and 2 is gone, you have pi and r. So if the diameter is 12 centimeter, then radius is going to be half of that, 
that is 6 centimeters so pi times 6 so let's see how much is that pi times 6 18.84 18.84 so for three significant figures we can take 18.8 eight centimeters right so now the perimeter of the semicircle so now the perimeter is going to be 18.8 plus 12 uh, 18.8 plus 12 30.8 so 30.8 is going to be the final answer. Here we have question from probability. Uh, some students choose their favorite drink from uh, the six drinks shown in the table. Uh, some of the probability of the students chosen choosing each drink are shown. Here is the probability. Three times as many students choose milk as cola. So, three times as many students as choose milk as cola. So, if cola is x, so milk is 3x, right? So, then uh, you know that sum of probability is always 1. So, 0 0.15 plus 0 0.32 plus 3x plus 0 0.08 plus x plus 0 0.29. This is equal to 1. So, we are adding all these probabilities. <coughs> So now 3x plus x is 4x plus then we are going to add all of them. Um, so this is uh, 0 0.1 I'm sorry 0 0.15 plus 0 0.32 plus 0 0.08 plus 0 0.29. This is 0 0.84 equals to. 1 then 4x is equal to 1 minus 0 0.84 this is equal to 0 0.16 so that means 4x is equal to 0 0.16 divided by 4 so x is 0 0.04 so that means when you once you got x x is 0 0.04 times 3 so when you time this 3 this is going to be 0 0.12 so this is how you can complete the table <coughs> for the probabilities now the exchange rate from euros to dollars is doll uh, uh, 1 euro is equal to 1.2 dollars complete these conversions so 162 this so well, let's write this down uh, so we have these euros 1 euro is equal to dollar 1.2 and we are looking for 162 dollars so dollars we don't know we can put x now you cross multiply so that is x times 160 equals to no no sorry x times 1 equals to 1.2 times 160 so you're just going to multiply 160 times 1.2 which is 192 again we are going to take 1 euro is equal to dollar 1.2 and we are looking for dollars now 76.80 x is here cross multiply so that gives you x times 1.2 equals to 76.80 times 1 so x is 76.80 over 1.2 so 76.80 divided by 1.2, 64. Right? Now a farm has 150 hectares of land. Write this area in square meters. So 1 hectare is equal to 10,000 meters squared. So 150 hectare is going to be how much? Just cross multiply. So you're going to have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's like this. That's it for this. Here is a question from mapping the functions. 
Uh, the table shows some functions and their inverses. Complete the table. The first row has been done for you. Uh, so mapping here, function, then reverse function, inverse function. So time is 4 is m, 4 times m. If you want to reverse, then you divide it. Inverse function is m over 4. Now here times 2 minus 3. So 2 times m minus 3. As we are applying this to m. So reverse mapping is you are going to bring this first. Here it is plus 3. Then divide by 2. So then this is going to be. Reverse mapping is going to be uh, plus 3. That means m plus 3. m plus 3 over 2. Right. Now here we have the statistic question take whether each of the set of data is primary or secondary now primary data is the data that you collect yourself secondary is the one that you get information from internet or some other resource that's not your own collection now adam collects data about heights by measuring students in his class so that means he is collecting himself so this is primary data bob collects data about cricket scores using the internet on his computer so he's not using his own uh, information he is using someone else from internet so that is the secondary data carol uh, collects data about masses of animals from a book that's also another one's information not his own so then this is also the secondary data so here we have question from probability uh, mr green spins two fair Spinners, some of the possible outcomes are recorded in this table. So we have spinner 1 here, spinner 2 here. Complete the diagram by filling uh, in the missing values. So he is writing outcomes here, right? So from there, we are going to fill, complete this table. So first one here, spinner 1. You see this is 4 and 1. So 4, 1 is here. Now next one here, we have 4 and then there is a 5 so that means there should be 5 over here that's why it will become 4 5 then 4 3 so we can write on 4 3 here then we have 4 and uh, now we don't have this thing here so now this can be done only uh, like this this is 4 and 3 right now here what do we have in these ones can we have something we don't know what is here because here we got 5 so that means it to get this 7 so we should have 7 here and 5 7 5 then there is 3 and 7 so we usually write this one here 7 and 3 so then you see here is 3 for this one and there should be 2 now we got all the numbers for spinner a now for spinner this one is left here so we have two here and two here so that means we should have two here also two and this so now let's complete this is seven one seven five seven three seven two now there is a seven nine so that means we should have nine here so now we have all of these numbers so we can fill the uh, table easily so this is four two four and nine is four nine then 2, 1, 2, 5 and 2, 9. See, this is how you can complete this one. Uh, next we have, uh, this is the spinner 1 and 2 here. Complete the diagram of the spinners by filling the missing values. Now, the question is to fill uh, these ones. So, spinner 1 we have here, uh, 2, 4 and 7. 4 is written, 7 and 2, right. The second one is 1, 3 is written. So, we have 5, 2 and 9. So this is 2 marks question. That's how you are going to complete this one. Here we have question from numbers. Here is a calculation. 84 divided by 14. Uh, 6 remainder uh, equals to 6 and remainder is 3. Draw a ring around the correct fra fra uh, fraction for answers to this calculation. So remainder 3 is here, here and these 3 right and then down one you should have 14 so we can uh, write this down here 87 divided by 14 so 14 times 6 is 84 so 3 so how do you write this one this one can be written as uh, 14 3 uh, 
3 over 6. So, we have this is the answer. So, we are going to put ring around here. I uh, use two whole numbers to complete this calculation. So, you know, see divided by something divided by something. So, when you uh, uh, break this, this is 9 times 13 plus 2. In the numerator, divided by this. 13 times 9 is Let me use calculator. 13 times 9 plus 2. So that means 119 divided by 13 will give you this answer. <coughs> we have this question here. Draw a ring around each of the two ratios are equivalent. So oh, let us see which of these are equivalent. Uh, this is 4 over 3, 3 over 2, 6 over 8, 15 over 10. So these are already in uh, simplest form. We can convert this. You can divide this by 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 4. This is 3 times 5, I'm sorry, 5 times 3 and 5 times 2. We can divide this by 2. So we have this fraction 3 over 2 and this fraction 3 over 2. So they are equivalent. So here is question from statistics and Carlos carries out a survey on clerks at school and this is one of the questions in his survey. Do you agree that there should be more clubs to go to school, uh, go to at school? So yes, no and don't mind. Uh, write down one reason why uh, this is not a good question. Now you see again the question is uh, what he want to do the survey about. Carlos carries out a survey on clubs at school. This is one of the question that is do you agree that there should be more clubs to go to uh, school. So he has given very limited options. So the <coughs> question is uh, question is very straight you can say question is very precise maybe <coughs> and options are limited meaning to say like there may be more uh, you know answers related to that and they can be put in another way so that other people can also give uh, their opinion so now here we have the question from geometry that is the locus point here uh, so we have the question here is the scale drawing showing three cities we have three cities here a b and c the real distance from city a to b is 140 uh, and find the real distance from b to c so let's first see the scale we need to know the scale so from a to b we can join a and b make sure that you join the exact point in the center of the this cross here so now distance from a to b distance from a to b that means a b uh, is equal to <coughs> and this is uh, 7 7 centimeter so a to b is 7 centimeter he said the actual distance is 140 kilometer uh, so that means this 7 scale represents 140 kilometers so that means how we get this one we got this one by multiplying it by 20 so now we are looking for the real distance from b to c so now let's see how much is the distance from b to c so from b to c is here so if you draw a line from here and this is 4.6 so BC is 4.6 centimeters. So in kilometers, the real distance we are going to multiply it by 20. So 4.6 times 20. It is 92 kilometers. So you may have a different answer because this is paper is printed. So maybe sometime you know uh, there will be minor difference with the actual paper and the paper that I do have here 
Here is the question from graph. The graph shows Angelic's journey to work. This is distance from home. This is time. Uh, write the number of minutes Angelic Angelic stops for uh, during his journey. So he stops here. So this is the time period that he stops. So let me just go down here. This is the time period, 8:30, and this line here. So 8.30 to 9, it is 30 minutes here, then plus this one, the half of this. This is 9 to 9.30 and this is going to be 15. So 30 plus 15, that is 45 minutes. So he stopped for 45 minutes, right? Now Safiya takes exactly the same route to work. She leaves at 8.30. It takes 45 minutes to get to work. So their workplace is here, you know, this is the line for the uh, where like Angel, uh, Angelic reached there. Safiya takes exactly the same route to work. She leaves at 8.30. So she starts at this point time here. It takes 45 minutes to get to work. Uh, she travels at constant uh, speed. Draw Safiya's journey on the grid, 45 minutes. From here, 45 minutes, you see, this one is 30, 8.30 to 9. That is 30 minutes plus 15 is 45. So this is the time when we she will reach uh, to the workplace. So from 8.30 to this point. This is the graph for Safiya. Now Safiya passes Angelic on her way. Write down the time when she passes Angelic. So this is the graph when they are crossing. So it is here. So this is 9, 9.15. Uh, so 9.15, 9.05, 9.10 and 15. 9.10. So this is 9.5, 9.10, 9.15. So this one is uh, between 9.05. So we can say 9.05 or 9.02.3 something like that. So this is nearby so we can write this down. Here we have a question of the prime factors 200 and write 252 as a product of its primes. Guys you may or I will say must see this kind of question in every paper so product of primes here you are going to take only the prime numbers so i'm taking first one here mm, no, two so you can use your calculator as this is paper two 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 fifty two divided by two is hundred and twenty six again this is divisible by two we can again divide it by two so you got sixty three now this is not divisible by three because this is not even numbers but this is divisible by 3 so divide by 3 it is 21 again divide by 3 this is 7 and then this 7 is the final number that cannot be divided more so write 252 as product product means multiplication right so that is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7 or it can be written as 2 power 2 3 power 2 times 7 so answer is 252 is 2 squared 3 squared times 7 right now here we have a question from capacity i mean the units uh, so this type of question is very common in uh, papers so some units of measurement are shown in the box we have the units here choose the most appropriate unit from the box for each of these measurements capacity of spoon <clears throat> so very little water or liquid can be stored in that so that should be milliliters right so milliliters so we can write down here milliliters the mass of piano piano is heavy it can be in uh, units of mass we have kilograms gram here none of other is that so the suitable one is kilogram so kilograms right now the distance 
travel in an aeroplane so aeroplane usually go to the higher you know distances so this is the unit of mass capacity meter cannot be millimeter for very small distance centimeter also so we are left with the kilometer so kilometer is the most appropriate unit for the distance traveled by an aeroplane right so now here we have another question and um, this is a bit uh, tricky actually so you just need to use the question and uh, the question is Mia chooses two of these numbers 2 3 5 11 13 and 15 she divides one number by the other and answer is 0 0.8 correct to one decimal place so we can choose we can use trial and error method 2 divided by 3 2 divided by 3 as you can see here we are dividing 2 uh, by 3 this is 0 0.66 which is not closer then we can take 3 divided by 3 divided by 5 0 0.6 again it's not working we have to choose the closest numbers because it's the 0 0.8 answer only so 5 divided by 11 it's 0 0.45 now uh, so then let's say 11 divided by 13 so you see 11 divided by 13 gives you 0 0.846 so to one decimal place this is going to be 0 0.8 so the numbers that we are getting here is 11 and 13. Here we have question from sequences. A sequence begins from uh, 14, 13, 17, 20, 23. Write down the formula for nth term of this sequence. As you can see, we are getting the next term by adding 14 plus 3, 17, 17 plus 3, 20. So, first term is 14 and common difference is 3. So, formula for nth term is a n a plus n minus 1 times t. A is 14 plus n is the nth term times 3. So this is 14 plus then you multiply this inside here 3n then 3 multiplying with 1. So combining like terms 3n 14 minus 3 is 11. So 3n plus 11 is the nth term right now the nth term of the different sequence given by the formula n over n plus 1 2n plus 1 write down the three terms of the sequence so we can just start this is t n let's say this is a n first term uh, a nth term is 2n plus 1 so when to find out a 1 so just replace n by 1 so 2 times 1 plus 1 so 1 over 3 so this is 1 over 3 then for a2 replace n by 2 2 over 2 times 2 plus 1 so 2 over 5 then the third one a3 now replace n by 3 so this is 3 over 2 times 3 plus 1 3 over 6 plus 7 3 over 7 right so that's it for this one now here we have simplify x over 4 the fractions so we can make the denominator same you see the denominator is now same uh, so lcm here is 8 so to make this we are going same we are going to multiply by 2 so this will become 8 so that is 2x let me rewrite over 8 plus x plus 1 over 8 now we can simply add here 2x plus x plus 1 because our denominator is same now 2x plus x is 3x plus 1 over 8 so this is going to be final answer for this one. So guys that's it for this video. I tried to cover all kind of questions that you can be asked in, uh, in paper 2. Uh, so I think if you do this revision you will be good enough to go for your exams, your last minute re uh, revision. Thank you so much guys for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. And please subscribe to ch my channel if you have not done that. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much. God bless you guys. All the best for your exams.